Hey guys, it's Chris Shepard here, and today we're going to discuss a riff that I like to call the Slonimsky Whole Tone. In 1947, Nicholas Slonimsky released a book called Thesaurus of Scales and Melodic Patterns. This book is highly influential on many jazz and classical musicians, as you can see. It is quite cuckoo bananas. Alright, so this riff here, it actually works by going two frets below the root. So if I'm in C7, I'm actually going down to B flat. Now, the shape of this is as follows. 6, 10 on the E, 7, 11 on the A, 8, 10, excuse me, 8, 12 on the D, 9, 13 on the G. Now, to get to the B string, we actually have to go up two frets. So now we're going to go to 11 and 15, and then 12 and 16 on the high E. Now the cool thing about this pattern, as you can see, it's very symmetrical. The notes that we're using are as follows. We have B flat, which is our flatted seventh or our minor seventh. We have D, which is the major ninth. E, which is the major third. G sharp, which is the augmented fifth. That's what sort of gives it its cool outside characteristic. And then that just repeats in each octave. B flat, D, E, G sharp. B flat, D, E, G sharp. Go up two frets. B flat, D, E, G sharp. Now here's where things get a little bit complicated. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing some string skipping. And you'll notice I'm using my first finger, third finger, and fourth finger. So I go 6 to 10 on the E. Then I come over to the D string, skipping the A, 8 to 12, back to 8, and then I bring my third finger onto the A string at the 11th fret. Then I basically just repeat that pattern. So that was 7, 11, 9, 13, back to 9, and then I land on the D string at the 12th fret. Now, this is a bigger jump here. I'm on the D. I go 8, 12, 11, 15, back to the 11. Then I'm on the G string at the 13th fret. Then to finish it off, I go 9, 13, jump to 12, up to 16, back to 12, and then 15 on the B. So that went... Now when I get to the end of the lick, I go 11, 15, slide up to 17. Then I have this little kind of like country bluesy kind of riff. That's 15, 17, 15 on the high E. Take my second finger, slide from 16 to 17. Then I bring my first finger over to the 17th fret and I go on the G and I go. And then I grab 17 on the high E, give a little half step bend. Let me show you how that works really slow all together. Put it all together. And that's how it's done. It's a great way to get a cool outside sound. Blah, 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 blah. All right, that pretty much wraps up our video. Thanks again for watching. Chris Shepard for Tone Canyon.